How's it going, true gamers? I hope you're all having a great day today. In today's video, we're going to be doing 250 kills of Duke Succulus, and one lucky winner in the comments is going to be getting all of the loot. So stay tuned for details on that. Starting off though, I want to go over gear setup. So this is what my gear setup currently looks like with a light bearer ring switch for special attack during the brewing phase and a bando's god sword as well for a special attack. So I'd recommend switching to any barrows melee gear instead of torva as well as dragon boots instead of prim and arc light and dragon defender instead of scythe. For upgrades you can throw in prims or Fang or Avernic Defender or all the above. It's just whatever you can afford. Let's go over inventory, inventory setup. Inventory setup that I ended up liking quite a bit and going with. Go ahead and bring Book of the Dead and Fire, Blood, and Cosmic Runes in order to cast the Greater Ghost Thrall if you can. That'll speed up your kills quite a bit. If you can't afford the Bando's God Sword, the Arc Light spec should be fine, and don't worry about Light Bearer as well if you can't afford it. But I'm also bringing Construction Cape, Crafting Cape, and Ring of Shadows for teleports, as well as a Pickaxe and a Pestle. Well, without any more introduction, let's get into these 250 kills and see what loot one of you lucky winners is going to get. A big tip that also helped me is as soon as you kill Duke, you can just instantly run over to either side Mushroom to completely skip all of the obstacles, at least on the way there. You're still gonna have to dodge him on the way back, but as you can see, it gives you just enough time to make it before he starts. So that should speed up your kills quite a bit. Sane, we get our first unique from Duke, 8KC in. Oh my God, I don't know why I wasn't recording there. That's my bad, but 8KC in, we get our first unique, the Frozen Tablet from Duke. That's Let's insane. Go! That's our third unique, Chromium Ignant, and we're going to keep going. Oh, okay. Our second Awakener's Orb at 106 KC. We will take it. Let's go. Hey, let's go. That's Awakener's Orb number three. Hey, let's go. Five Dragon Plate Leg Drop, and that's our first time getting that drop, actually. That's amazing. Let's go. Holy shit! Back to back to back, Awakener's Orb into five Dragon Legs into Awakener's Orb again. That's our fifth Awakener's Orb and a medium clue. Let's go! There's five more Dragon Flate Legs. We'll take that. That's 800k. Hey, let's go! New personal best, a minute 50. We'll take let's that. Let's go! Another Awakener's Orb. We'll definitely take that. Hey, we'll definitely take that. Seven Dragon Flate Legs. Let's go. Hey, let's go! That's another Awakener's Orb at 248. We'll definitely take that. There it is, 250 kills, and we get ice cores. <laughs> oh, no way. That is amazing. We get ice quartz on our 250th kill. Yes. Well, now the last thing to do is just go ahead to the bank and go over supplies and loot. And if you were wondering, that puts us at 4 out of 10 on the Duke collection line. Well, as far as supplies go, it looks like we ended up spending 7.2 mil on supplies. Now let's get into the loot that one of you lucky winners is going to be getting. Well, after 250 kills of Duke, this is what we managed to get, including ice quartz and frozen tablet as well. So throwing the loot into the price checker, we managed to make 22 mil. So after supplies, about 15 mil profit, but one of you lucky winners will be walking away with 22 mil. So now I'm going to go over the giveaway rules since this is our first Loot For You video of the series, so stay tuned for that. If you'd like to enter the first Loot For You series giveaway, the rules are really easy. First, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Second, like this video. And third, comment your in-game RuneScape name below. And four, make sure your private chat is turned on in-game so I can message you if you win. I'll be randomly selecting a winner in one week after uploading this video, and I'll reply to the winner's comment on YouTube as well as message them in-game to trade them their winnings. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and peace out, true gamers. Keep on gaming.